Hi, welcome from the Bedford household. We're doing what I think the rest of you are doing right now. We're getting ready for a week's break. The last few weeks have been quite exceptional for all of us, and you've all done something quite extraordinary. You've taken learning in the classroom and you've turned it into learning from home. As I speak to you right now, our youngest daughter is working on some art homework, but she's been busy with physics, biology, and Shakespeare this past week. The work that you've done has been quite amazing. You've utilized the technology that's available to you, be they FaceTime meetings, Zoom meetings, posting videos, maintaining websites, or to speaking with students through email. It's quite extraordinary. Some of you have even picked up the good old fashioned telephone just to check in on your students and make sure that they're okay. In conversation with Minister Gertsen yesterday, he took the time to say many positive things about the work that our members are doing. We're greatly appreciative for those comments and I'm greatly appreciative for all the effort that you're putting in. But next week is a time for a break. You deserve it, but you also need that break. They are in the Bedford household we're going to be watching some movies, playing some games. We're also going to build some time in to put our devices down. We're fortunate enough to live right near one of the city's active transport trails. So we have a great place to get out and do some exercise. I encourage all of you, take that time to put in some exercise. Myself, I'm going to get to a few odd jobs around the house, make sure the bikes are tuned up, and I have a few painting projects on my desk that I've been anxious to get at for quite some time now. I'd also like you to take some time to check in with others in your life. Some people struggle with mental health. Now is the time to check up on them. Share coping strategies. Let them know that you care. Listen to their concerns and do your best to alleviate those concerns. I also encourage you to routinely check in at mbteach.org. Our communication staff has been working long hours to make sure that the site has the most up-to-date information on it. Sometimes we're updating things on an hourly basis. We may not have all the answers immediately, but as soon as we get them, we're gonna be careful to post those on our website. Also, check in on the homework page. Many great ideas that our members are sharing from across the province about how they're maintaining learning at home within our student force. Now isn't the time to be modest about what we do. Now's the time to celebrate what we do. So when you see great things happening, and when you're doing those great things, take the time to post them for us so we can share them with colleagues across the province. I'd also encourage you to encourage our students to take a break. They probably suffer from some of the stress and the anxiety that the rest of us are, are coping with. So they need that time off as well. So enjoy spring break. You've earned it. And from my home to yours, make this spring break a memorable one. Thanks.